Hello. My name is Kitty. I'm known as Wildcat26 on the Fairheart forum. Today I'll be showing you how to make terrain height maps for your custom maps for Feral, for Feral Heart. And I'll be showing you how to do them in both GIMP and Photoshop. Um, the first thing is I'd like to show you is um, terrain height maps are used for hills and valleys, the terrain of your custom maps. And this is a typical height map. This is for one of my custom maps called Forgotten Desert. As you can see, it is in grayscale. All height maps must be in grayscale. And it's not as hard as people think it is. Once you've done it a couple times, it will become very easy to do. And uh, I'm going to start out with GIMP, which right here, open GIMP up. If it'll open, it's always slow. Okay. So if you're not familiar with GIMP, GIMP is a free program you can download. Um, Paint will not work for height maps because it can only save in a JPEG format. And you must have a PNG format in order to make height maps. So you can download GIMP and it's completely free. And the first thing we're going to do is go to new and the image size for a height map needs to be 513 pixels by 513 pixels square and you're going to click advanced options and change your color space to grayscale is very important the height map will not work if it is not in grayscale and click OK all right and this is our area this is going to become our height map and the way it works is um, if you look at this black the color black is your lowest point and you use it to make uh, valleys holes uh, rivers. White is going to be your highest point. You use that to make hills and mountains. And gray is all your points in between. The lighter gray is, the higher is going to be, the darker the gray, the lower is going to be. So, uh, close that. And what I like to do is uh, use your fill bucket and uh, get a nice medium gray is a good starting point and you're gonna fill to where it's gray. Now if um, if you're making a map that had mainly low points and you wanted a, a very deep low point you would start with a uh, lighter gray and that would make the uh, low points very deep and if you're doing a high map with like lots of hills and mountains you want them very high you start out with a darker gray and it what it creates a greater contrast so we have the, our base now what we're going to do is um, switch to a brush and uh, GIMP has a few different brushes and let's try, hmm, let's see, this is like a splatter or something, let's see what this does. There really is um, no wrong way to make a height map, you just use your imagination and um, try to 
picture something in your head how you'd like the terrain to look and then you try to put it down on the height map and you can always go back after and edit if you don't like it once you get it in game you can go back and edit it to make it look how you want it so don't worry if you know you get it in game and you don't like the way it looks you can always go back and change it and you'll fix things so let's see what this does so this makes little like little, little scattered okay so we're gonna do that and let's see let's use this one and what we're going to do is change to uh, darker and we're going to make like let's see Wait, that did not work <laughs> and okay there we go and let's make light I'm going to make a pond here. And then we're going to make a river going to it, and the river is going to go around here. Like I said, it's really, it's all up to you. There's no set way to draw one. Uh, you can get as crazy or as, you know, plain as you want as far as adding uh, hills and, and low points to it. And let's see. Let's try. Let's make some holes. So I'm gonna go about like right there. Okay. And and just play around with different brushes till you find something you like, and then different brushes create you know different patterns and such, and that can be used um, to achieve particular terrains. So that's gonna be like a hill right there, and make it a little bit lighter. Put it right there. And we're going to make a cliff right here, looking over the river. Now, one thing when you have a, a big difference in height. you want a large difference in height, I mean, <laughs> if you have a large difference in your height, you're going to want to add a step down, otherwise it'll be unclimbable the way Feral Heart is now with the uh, sliding on the hills. So basically what you need to do, if you don't want a solid cliff face, you want to be able to access it you need to um, put steps basically to get up to higher points so this is what I'm doing here and that's going to allow you to get up there if you want a uh, cliff like a wall basically you'd leave it like this and not put any steps but then you can need another way to access it um, once you do that and let's see Mm. Uh, let's make another couple of hills here. Mm, here, okay. And some little hills, little circles here. And dots. Okay. Once you are happy with the way it looks. 
you're going to want to if you don't want that cliff face you need to click uh, your blur sharpen and you're going to make sure it's on blur and uh, turn up the rate is a good thing and what you're going to want to do is blur the edges turning up to 100% is a good idea for a good blur I'm going to blur the edges in and this uh, creates a more a slope so it's not as sh sharp of an incline and difference in terrain levels it makes it easier to climb up and down and it's much smoother when you blur it then it's not a straight drop or a straight wall up as if you would not blur it. it and it just blends really well the terrain together it makes a nice smooth climbable hill or uh, river for you to be able to get into. So I'm going to blur all this together. Okay. And uh, give this a little bit of blur. That way it's not like pointy. Where you can't get on top of it. That is one of the biggest differences about for a heart from if you played IT. Press a title that you could get anywhere on press of title with feral heart the way you slide down hills and such you almost have to um, blur in order to get up hills or if you get stuck in a river bed it's almost impossible to get out now if it's too steep so okay so we're going to let's say we're ha happy with our height map we're going to defile and save and uh, I have no idea what I'm going to name this I'll probably name it later I'll probably will actually use this because I don't like throwing away even if it's made for uh, the tutorial or not so let's see <sighs> terrain <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to uh, select a file type here, and we're going to use PNG Portable Networks Gra Network Graphics. That's what PNG stands for. You must save it as a uh, PNG image in order for it to work. So we have our file type, and for right now, we're going to browse folders and see for heart go to media terrains and for right now just save it in your terrains and click save and then just leave this alone it's already set so click save. And this is your height map made in Kemp. Um, next I will be doing a version of making height maps in Photoshop.